Hi there, my name's Amo, and in this video I'm going to show you how to create a 3D tip jar. So in front of us we have a scene um, that's designed such that our focal point is our game. This is us playing the game. And what we want to do is overlay on top of this a 3D tip jar that will kind of fill the screen with coins as we receive cheers. So let's see how to do that. The first thing I'm going to do is on the right hand side is I'm going to click this plus button and I'm going to select on the left hand side the 3D object emitters category and on the right hand side I'm going to select this coin 3 emitter. And when we do that an icon appears in our canvas and this icon represents our emitter. And if we look at the properties on the right hand side you'll see that there's an emit burst action. If we click on that uh, we'll see that it emits these coins. And so our goal is to have it emit one of these coins as we receive cheers from our viewers. And so to do that, the first thing we're going to do is on the left hand side, I'm going to add, I'm going to hit the plus button and I'm going to add a Twitch source if you haven't already done so. And this Twitch source contains all, a bunch of different alerts that we can kind of use to affect stuff in our scene depending on stuff that's happening on our, from our Twitch account. And in this case, we're going to focus our attention on this on bits gained alert. This alert will fire every single time we accumulate 500 bits. And we can change this number uh, by changing this gain amounts property, but we'll leave it at 500 for now. So basically every single time we receive 500 bits, it will fire this alert. So now what we need to do is connect that alert to this emit burst action, this, this uh, emit burst action that emits the, this coin. And so I'm just gonna pull a wire out of it on bits gain and I'm just gonna connect it to emit burst. So now every single time we receive this alert, if we click on this alert, we'll see that it correctly connects and fires this action, this emit burst action. So we already now have a functional uh, tip jar. The issue here is that they kind of accumulate in an awkward way on top of our canvas. And so what we kind of want to do is change it such that perhaps instead of them falling onto our canvas like a table, we'll have them fall at the bottom of our screen by changing gravity so that things kind of fall vertically. And so let's go ahead and do that. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on the parent 3D screen layer that is um, the parent of our 3D object emitter. And then if we look at the bottom, we can see all the different properties of our uh, 3D space that our emitter lives inside. And what we want to do is basically change our uh, gravity value here located under space. Instead of uh, it being 9.806 on the z-axis, we're going to set the z-axis uh, value to zero. And we're going to instead set the y-axis to negative 9.806. And by doing so, we're basically, instead of making gravity go to, away from us onto the bottom of this canvas, which is the z-axis, so that the z-axis is basically the puncturing, uh, if you imagine a value from you into the canvas, into the screen, that's our z-axis. Our x-axis goes from left to right on our screen, and our y-axis goes from top to bottom of our screen. And so that's why we had to change our gravity from the z-axis, which was near to far, to the y-axis. And we just basically made it 9.806. That's kind of our default gravity, where things kind of fall nicely at a nice speed. And we also had to make sure we, we had to negate it, because if we, if we had a positive value, the values of the coins would fall to the top of the screen. I can show you right now. So we want to negate it so that they fall to the bottom of the screen. So I'm going to click again back to our 3D object emitter. And, and, and by selecting it, I'm going to click on emit burst. And so now you can see that things correctly fall to the bottom of our screen. I think what, what's left is to kind of rotate our emitter slightly so that they don't just kind of fall and emit vertically. Um, so what I'm just going to do is I'm going to select the transform here and I'm going to, on the Z axis of our rotation, I'm just going to rotate it slightly in this case so that it has a positive Z value, 36 degrees to the left basically is what, it's, what this, this is saying. And you can see when I do that, this arrow is being bent to the left. That's kind of the arrow that these coins are coming out of. So if I click emit burst, they now kind of go sideways across our canvas. So that looks kind of nice. So now as we are receiving tips, we'll kind of see them kind of accumulate in this kind of visually more interesting way. And so I'm going to conclude the video uh, shortly, but um, to continue kind of experimenting with this, 
you can try playing around with things like um, the max simultaneous. That, that determines the total number of coins that will accumulate on screen. So if each coin represents 500 bits, you can kind of multiply out and kind of determine the total number of coins you want to allow and the total number of bits that you want to see on your screen by changing, by playing around with this max simultaneous value. Um, you can also uh, increase the burst count. That will determine like if more than one get emitted at once, depending on what you want to do. You, you might want to have a bunch emit at, at a time. Um, and also, if you go under objects, you can edit the 3D object here, some of its properties, including its mass, the bounciness of the object, and its size. If you click on the transform of this 3D object, you can also make bigger or smaller coins by playing around with this value here. So you can get them, you could have larger or smaller coins accumulating. And um, you can also play around with, like bounciness. So if you make it very bouncy uh, as you emit, um, they'll, they'll bounce a little bit more. It's kind of hard to see with these type of coins, with these type of shapes. It's, they're not as bouncy, but you can you can play around with some of that. So hopefully this this all makes sense. Um, definitely uh, play and tweak around with some of these properties uh, to achieve lots of different effects. But that's the gist of it. Um, and I hope you enjoyed this, and I'll uh, catch you next time.